Hi guys, so welcome to today's PalmParts.co.uk video. A really unusual episode that we're doing today because we are currently here with Peugeot looking at their surround rear vision and we're doing a tradesman challenge where we have to reverse all around this really convoluted, tight circuit and they've got traffic cones with balls on them. So if we knock a traffic cone and the ball falls off, we get a 20 second penalty. And we're just testing out their rear view vision sensor thing. They've got like a little camera and loads of little bits to help us as we reverse around and get to jobs and get on site and that sort of thing. So that's what we're gonna be looking at today. There's a few other tradesmen here. So I'm with Phil, who's another plumber. Uh, there's a couple of chippies and a few um, electricians, but they're currently having their nails done uh, because we all know that's what they're like. Right, anyway, I hope you subscribe, hit that like button, comment below, and let's get on with having a go around this track. See you soon. Hold tight. So six of us were asked to pop along one Sunday afternoon to a roofer's merchant, a place that, to be honest, as a plumber, I never usually visit. There were two Sparkies, two carpenters, and of course, two plumbers, me and Phil. Robin from Skill Builder was there, and it was nice to see a familiar face and have a quick catch up before we got down to the nitty gritty of safely reversing our van around the track. Guess who I've discovered? Someone who's competing against me, and it's James from Plumber's Parts. I know. I'm a bit worried about Roger though, because there was a lot of gaffer tape around his face earlier on and he's in the back of your van well What's I mean, about? the thing is he's like he's so competitive roger it's like it's just best to just keep him just keep him out of the way because he will smash it i'm not joking you there's no way roger will lose anything he is uh, super competitive i was quite pleased though when i saw it like that because i know that i've got a better chance of beating you than i have roger because he is that competitive believe me uh, i mean your teammate there is he looks like he's not the mo most mo mobile a person. He's strong. Come he over here. Phil's the thinker of the team. Yeah, I so, feel. so th these we, guys. We just met. We just met me and Phil. These did. guys are looking good. And Ju Juby's nowhere to be seen. I think he's gone off to check the course out again. He's walking the course. He's working it out. Juby's very technical. I think I've got a real advantage today. <laughs> See, I'm good at going backwards. So I think I'm going to have a bit of an advantage as well. Okay. You know? And you're, do you drive a big van? Volkswagen Transporter T5. So. At Right, little tip for you, right? My van's always getting broken into. We know this is a big problem at the moment. Leave a toilet roll in the front of the van. Never happens. Sweet. That is an absolute <laughs> classic. Oh, I absolutely love there that. The only thing is though, is that I always see that a toilet roll in the front of the van and I always think that's a bit sort of random. Like if I go and buy a set of toilet rolls in the shops, I don't like to walk out of them without a bag because I think everyone knows what you're going to go and do. <laughs> And I get really embarrassed about things like that, you know? Don't I, you? I was actually on the way here, as, a, as an aside, listening to a podcast, podcast, um, about people who wipe their bums with socks and not toilet roll. Seriously? Why? Have you ever had your finger go through? What, what, through the toilet roll? Yeah. No, I've worked a technique out after 48 you, you years. You don't drink enough <laughs> ale. That's what it is. We were called over to have a quick look around the track. Here's my walkthrough for you guys. This is the course. So we've got to go around here and we've got balls that we don't want to knock off. So then we're going down this like little narrow bit here. So you've got a ball there. We've got to then reverse around here. We've got a ball there that we might hear. Dodgy. Tiles everywhere. Something that as a plumber, the only time I have to worry about these things is when I'm putting a flue through a roof. Tight on there on one mirror and using the very intuitive reverse camera system. We come round to this bit here. Just basically a U-E all the way around here, and then literally gun it backwards down this bit. This is the slalom. Just got a slide around here. It's not an easy section. Nothing about today is easy. We've all been to a supplier's where you get tightly blocked in, you know, and you're gonna need to use your reversing skills to get around the course, get back, you know. Do you like getting to site early, so you're near site? but you get blocked in by everyone else, or do you get there late, so you can hardly get near the job, but you can get out without having to worry about getting the chip in with the van, and then it's a bit of banter that they don't move it. Then you've got to reverse into that, drive out to here, reverse round here, and then back through there, and then out here, back round, through there, and then that's literally it. That's all we've got to do. I'm quietly confident. I think I'm going to be in the top, probably in the top six. Before I knew it, I was getting acquainted with the insides of this brand new van and also this wicked little camera system, whacking the beast into reverse and getting on with this reversing challenge. Go! He 
he's the real competition here. I think he's going to do it. He's not. He's not going to beat us though. Them plumbers are not going to be the chippies. I don't. Don't care what they say. I've got to say, reversing around all these tight little areas isn't easy, even if you've got cameras, and I have to admit now that I knocked off a ball. Unfortunately, it turned out one of the electricians had just done their trailer license and they were an absolute shoe in to win. I'm sorry, plumbers, but we came last. That's an example of what you don't Found do when the you first start. Hurdle. You know, that's what we're going to say to our friends. That's what we're going to say to Big G when we get home. Let's have a cheer. How are you feeling? Well, James, first of all, it's really nice to meet you, mate. Yeah. You too, really, man. really nice to meet you. Plumbing, personality. Bradley Cooper. Bra Bradley Cooper? Oh, uh, yeah, Bradley Cooper. Everyone says I look like... Bradley Walsh. Oh, shut up, Bradley Walsh. <laughs> no, I just like to tell people how it is. Mm. The truth. Well, I'm looking forward to Behind seeing a little bit of a clip of us on your channel because well, it might raise my profile a little bit because I'm just a minion. Well, I'm looking forward to you guys coming to the studio next week as well. We're going to have a sit down, a little chat. Yeah, make a podcast. Had, yeah. How, how did you feel about the uh, about the day? How have you felt about today? Well, it's been interesting. Um, I've really enjoyed myself. And I had biscuits today, first time in ages. Biscuits. Mm. Been a good day. Yeah, it's plumbers, been a good day. Plumbers came first, really, in a moral sense. Everyone's a winner now. All in all, I had a wicked day driving this cool Peugeot about. I'd love to have some reversing cameras on the back of my van like this. It's so dented and ruined. It'd be lovely. Thanks ever so much for having us over, guys. Had a great time, and it was a really, really enjoyable day. I know what you're gonna say guys, really unusual video this week. Normal service will resume next week, so please hit that subscribe button. In the meantime, I've got a new video out on my vlog channel, Times of James, so click on the Times of James icon and check it out.